There's no shortage of conflicting information regarding what a realistic amount should be when applying for your E-2 visa. And some suggest you should have $200,000 minimum, while others go as low as $50,000. Which of these is correct? Well, the simple answer is both are correct. However, both are viewing it from different angles. And technically, there is no set amount. Uh, required by the U.S. government for obtaining the E-2 visa, and every application will be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. That said, immigration officials will be looking to ensure that your business is not what they call marginal and has reasonable expectations of employing U.S. workers and operating profitably. And while we have seen approvals for investment as low as $50,000, this is an exception rather than the norm, and in our world, uh, which is franchising. Once you include the added expenses relating to the franchise itself, $50,000 becomes an impossible number. Your total budget should also take into consideration your legal fees, your business licensing, your personal living expenses, and business working capital. If your franchise or business is not profitable for six months, will you be able to survive? And once you consider all these expenses, including business and personal rent, over six months, we see that $50,000 really does not go very far. Keep in mind, immigration officials are also looking for a reasonable allocation and distribution of funds. So if your total budget is 100000 and you list on your E-2 application you're buying a franchise for 95000 your application will likely not be looked upon favorably as you simply don't have the money to keep the business running. It would make much more sense in this case to buy a business for $60,000 retaining 40 for working capital. And this also makes sense from a general business standpoint, not just for purposes of the E-2. So keep in mind, you'll need to show a logical distribution of funds that cover all your expenses over a given period of time. So if you're starting a business, a minimum of 50,000 is possible, or at least it has been in the past, but $100,000 is more realistic. If you're purchasing a business or a franchise, $100,000 will likely be your minimum for a service type business, $150,000 for a brick and mortar type business. Now, some of our clients come to us pointing out the fact they see food franchises online for $50,000 and ask if that could be a good investment. Well, usually no, and we explore why in our next video entitled, Should I Buy a Resale or a New Franchise for the E2 Visa? And there'll be a link to that around this video. Here at Franchise City, we work with E2 investors, helping match them with successful American franchises. We work with hundreds of well-known brands that can provide an advantage when applying for the E2 Visa. To learn more about our service, please click the link on or around this video. Thank you for watching.